I'm Tony Scar with BNet TV. We are here at Pepcom during IFA in Berlin, and I am speaking with Mr. Andy Ramsden of Device Fidelity. How are you today, sir? Hi. Good, very good, thank you. Fidelity device. <laughs> device fidelity. That's correct. Yeah. Trying to trip you up there. We didn't get it. All right. So, for all the people out there in BNet TV land, tell me what uh, what you're about and what you're doing here at IFA. Okay. So, Device Fidelity is the company. The brand that we're promoting today is Moneto, and what we're doing is we're bringing mobile payments to the device. So you take a regular credit card, we're all familiar with these. What we're doing is we're taking that technology, putting it onto a micro SD card, and building it inside a smartphone. So the uh, big popular devices are the iPhones today, and also the Androids, the Samsungs are very, very, very hot. So effectively you're taking a device that wouldn't have NFC capability exactly. and giving it NFC capability. So we all know that today 95% of devices don't have NFC. Right. The biggest selling device in the world doesn't have NFC. May do in a couple of months, we're, a couple of weeks, we don't know, we'll find out. But what we've done is, uh, if I show you an example here with the, uh, with the iPhone, is we have a, an application, which is a Moneto application, and this contains on the micro SD the equivalent details as you would find on a, on a credit card. And on here, the advantages are, instead of just a basic card, is I've got a balance. So you can see I've got $82.34 on my card. And if the merchant is enabled for NFC, and more and more merchants are, I simply just have to tap to pay. And once I'm ready, I tap that. And, and the, there's a beep and a tap. If that was a live terminal, that would have immediately updated the balance on my card and stored the transaction in the transaction history. I can also send money to you if you have a Moneto card. That would be great if you could yeah. do that. That would be well, fantastic. You don't have a card, <laughs> we can set you up. I can send money to you. Okay. Uh, we can push money around. You can load money from PayPal, from your bank account. From You can pay, put your salary check into there as well. And you can basically load your balance. Or it could be a credit card just like any other card. It doesn't have to be prepaid. So I, that was going to be one of my questions is, okay, so can I, can I use any credit card? Yeah. It, it we, doesn't have to be your, have you, you happen to have a prepaid card, but it doesn't have to be that if we're you don't want to. banks across the world, they're doing credit cards, they're doing debit cards, they're doing prepaid cards. You can do any, any flavor you want. The technology is the same. The really cool thing is I can take the micro SD out of that iPhone and I can put it in my Samsung Galaxy. Uh, I could give it to you, you can put it in your Samsung Galaxy and it will work in exactly the same way. So for me, with a family, we can share it, I can give it to my teenage children. The cool thing is, I see the balance, every time they make a transaction, right. it appears on my phone. So that's a really cool part of that. Keep track of uh, your, your children's spending. Okay, um, where, where is the product available, how do I get it? So at the moment it's launched in the US, nationwide, online. Uh, it'll also be going to retail stores soon. Uh, we're going to launch in the UK in a couple of months and then we want to grow that and extend that across Europe. So we're going to start in the UK in November and then we're going to follow the uh, rollout of NFC. So Turkey, Poland, France, Germany, and we're going to extend that. So and uh, of course the NFC uh, World Summit's coming up here in Nice, France in, uh, in approximately uh, two or three weeks. So, you know, as and if the uh, next version of the iPhone actually does have the NFC ship. Yes, we are seeing more and more NFC enabled devices, but to this day, 95% of the phones that are in the marketplace right. just don't have that ability, but there are the payments out there. And we know in the UK, there's eight to 10 million iPhones that don't have NFC. Right. So even if the five does have NFC, will it have the ability to store secure payments? Maybe not, Maybe it might not. just be a social thing. So there's still a big market, there's a lot of Android devices out there, a lot of Blackboard devices that don't have a secure element, don't have NFC. So we can start to attack all those legacy devices as well as the new devices and provide an alternative to the SIM that the mobile operators may be pushing. Absolutely fantastic. Andy, well positioned in the marketplace. Congratulations on that and I hope we get a chance for an update again in the future. Okay, thank you very much. I've been speaking with Mr. Ant... Ah. I've been speaking with Mr. Andy Ramsden from Advice Fidelity. I'm Tony Slar here at Pepcom during IFA in Berlin with BNET TV.